Hey, what's up, guys? Stefan here. The people have spoken. Having requested a trap soul beat, a trap soul beat is what you're going to get. We're also going to be adding in some vocals for the very first time at the end so you can kind of gauge what the finished product would sound like. So stick around to the end, I promise you it's going to be dope. So I'm rebuilding a beat I prepared earlier and I'm going to take you through step by step how I built it. As with all of my tutorials, it's going to be very music production focused, so even if you're not a Reason user, you can still follow along just fine. Now the first thing we want to build when making a trap soul beat is atmosphere. There's often not a lot going on in the forefront in these trap soul beats, but there's a lot going on in the back. Because there's not much going on in the forefront, especially if there's no sample being used, I mean a lot of these trap soul beats use 90s R&B samples, but where we're not using any samples, we have to really fill up that background and fill out that empty space. I have this synth from Europa, Drowned in Reverb, and this eerie vocal sample sitting right behind it. Vocals play a huge part in filling out the space, oohs and ahs and things of that nature, but they have to sit in the back and reverb helps us with this. You also often find an 808 bass and a synth bass used in the same track, and that's where we're going to start today. I'm going to start by laying down the 808 bass first and then we'll move on to the synth bass later on in the beat. So this is our main bass line for the verse, and at the end there I did a popular R&B walk down into a 2-5-1 movement, giving the bass that R&B flavour in which Trap Soul derives. Now you may have noticed that I'm using quite a fast tempo, 135 beats per minute. However, with the drums we can make it feel slower by placing the snare or clap on the third beat, as opposed to the second and fourth. One, two, clap, four. One, two, clap, four, as opposed to one, clap, three, clap, one, clap, three, clap. It makes the beat sound more laid back. As always, the kick and the 808 bass are hitting together to give us that well-pronounced bounce that we need. Because this is essentially R&B, but you still want it to bounce like it's trap. And of course, it being trap, we need our hi-hats. Now to give it a bit more energy, because it's a bit too laid back right now, and to aid with the bounce, we can use quarter notes. Then to add these signature trap note repeats or rolls, I used 30 second notes, 16th notes, 8th notes, and then finish the 8 bar loop with triplet 8th notes. I then used an open hi-hat at two different pitches to add a melodic element to the drums. This also again helps with the movement. Finally, to finish off the drums, I added some percussion, with instruments panned left to right to create more movement and energy. I also used EQ to roll off the high frequencies to help the percussion sit in the back. Final touch to the verse was a random chord I found in the Grain synthesizer. I actually spent quite a lot of time with this synth and I'll definitely be using it in future beats. It has some great sounds for building atmosphere, exactly what we're trying to create here for our trap soul sound. The pre-chorus is a great opportunity for us to break down the beat and take it real old school R&B. 
You hear this a lot from tracks from artists like Kalani. Especially in the era where bridges are not really too much of a thing anymore, the pre-chorus has become our bridge, where the song really breaks down and leads us into a big chorus. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to remove the kick, remove the clap and the snare, and replace those with a finger snap. And remove the 808 bass and replace it with a synth bass. I've taken the bass notes out of the main synth for this part as they were clashing, and the synth bass is the main focus for this part. I'm also using a different part of the vocal here just to switch it up a bit, and I've got this cool back and vocal that I've pitched down also added in the mix. Obviously, if I was working with a vocalist, we'd probably have them record in their own backing. A cool thing I did there with the synth bass was harmonise with the top line melody of this synth. Again adding more R&B flavours. The second time around however I left the space empty and that's because I'm leaving room for the 808 bass to come back in and indicate to the listener that it's time for the chorus. I'm going to use the same rhythm but this time reinforce the same melody that the main synth is using. It has this nice downward movement, it's leading us somewhere. To strengthen this I've also added a riser, but to make the riser more impactful I have it met with a crash cymbal to start the chorus. Now with Trap Soul, there's often no change in the chord progression when it comes to the chorus. So we're just going to build upon what we already have, make it sound bigger. Having an empty pre-chorus helps us with this, but it's not enough. Often there's an introduction of more hi-hats at double the speed, but we're already going as fast as I want to, so I decided not to touch the hi-hats. The only thing I added to the drums was an extra kick fully mimicking the 808 bass. It just allows the chorus to make a bit more of a statement, if that makes sense. But it doesn't really make it sound any bigger, does it? So I added in a couple more instruments, the first of which was strings. Now with these strings, I was very careful not to fill up the space too much with chords. Besides chords with strings, well, that gives us quite an old school sound. The sound of the 90s and early 2000s. So I just went with single notes an octave apart in unison. You probably saw and heard the addition of that chromatic walk down. More R&B flavours once again. I just followed what the 808 bass was doing. Now by this point I was really trying not to add in any parts with really short notes. As we already have the backing vocal giving us a melody with really short notes and there needs to be room left for the vocal. So for the final part I just used a synth that would complement the strings. Pretty much doing the same thing and harmonising in parts. Oh, and I almost forgot I added a downer at the halfway point just to give it some variety as I didn't want the crash to play twice. Now for the final touch and just for YouTube purposes, I imported some vocals from a 91 vocals sample pack and it's not a full track with a verse, pre-chorus and chorus. The files I'm using are all actually just hooks um, but I'm using each one where I think they would fit best to give you guys an idea what this track would sound like complete. The pre-chorus works really well but the other two parts not so much, um, they're not really in the trap soul kind of vibe but that doesn't matter, it's, this is just for an example, so let's run the track. And 
that's all we have time for today guys thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video or learned something new be sure to let me know down in the comment section below and give it a thumbs up if you're new be sure to hit that subscribe button i post every friday at the moment and you can check out some of my other beat making videos just right here all right guys i've been stefan and as always happy beat making